Hi guys, welcome to Wiki Movie Channel, and this is the top 7 best thrillers of the 20th century. There were a lot of great movies in the 20th century, and we are planning to release several tops on this topic. Each of these presented films in this top is worth watching. If you missed some of them, then you should watch it for sure. So, let's not waste any time and begin! The Game Nicholas Van Orten is a self-sufficient and very rich man. He is always calm and he is used to keep any situation under control. He has everything he dreams about and he is confident in the future like no one else. But he is tired of his luxurious routine life. And by accident, his brother decides to present him a gift in the form of a ticket for an uncertain and unknown game on his birthday. He's promised that the game will return vivid feelings, will allow you to feel the taste and sharpness of life. Having entered the game, Nicholas is confused, after which he ceases to see the difference between the real and fictional world. He is thrown from side to side and subjected to the most sophisticated tests. Then comes the powerlessness, surprise, anger, misunderstanding, the most negative thoughts that can be explained, because he has made it clear to everyone that the limits of what has been allowed have been exceeded. Then he realizes that this game is serious and the bet in it in his life. The atmosphere of the movie is supported by vibrant color schemes. Bright colors are muffed and covered with a gray coating of urban buildings. Empty corridors and cold skyscrapes catch the mood. This film is guaranteed to drag you into its game, and its pulsating rhythm will not allow the viewer to relax until the very end. 7th place. The Game. Twelve Monkeys. In 1997, an unknown virus killed 5 billion people. The radical party of animal rights activist 12 Monkeys is accused of spreading this virus. The remaining people were forced to move underground to avoid infection. In 2035, which is conditionally highlighted in the film as a present, scientists sent Jane Cole back in 1996 to stop the radical and prevent the planet from becoming infected. However, by an incomprehensible mistake, Cole turns out into 1990, in which, of course, no one has heard of any virus yet, and he is being placed in a psychiatric hospital. The film is based on time travel between past and future, and the basis for success here is a fairly twisted plot and well-tuned logic. A well-chosen cast and deliberation of the plot, coupled with exceptional directing, produced an interesting, clever film. This is definitely one of the most intelligent movies, with the participation of Bruce Willis, and James Cole is probably the most interesting hero played by him. Also very pleased with the work of Brad Pitt, who is originally looks like Psycho. 6th place, 12 Monkeys. Misery Paul Sheldon, the famous writer of best-selling series about the girl named Misery, ends another novel in a remote hotel in the mountains in which he decides to get rid of misery. Having gone with the manuscripts to New York to his literary agent, Sheldon got into a car accident during a snowstorm. He wakes up two days later in the house of ex-Norse Annie Wilkes, who saved him from imminent death. Annie Wilkes is an ardent fan of Sheldon and she carefully nurses the writer, giving him some pills and professionally putting droppers. They develop friendship and Sheldon doesn't realize that while he's laying immobilized in the room, his saver carefully camouflages his car, covering it with branches and snow. Furthermore, in the morning, Annie burst into the writer's room with accusations and threats against him. She forced Paul to burn his handwritten novel and recreate it to resurrect Misery, whom she loved so much. And finally, Sheldon realizes that his saver is an abnormal psychopath, ready for anything for the sake of his desires, that no one is looking for him and that he urgently needs to figure out how to get out and there is no one to rely on except himself. In general, the film is interesting in itself, and the storyline is twisted, so that, at another moment, you are already unsure that the story will end safe. There are some very creepy moments, especially when there is a calm, relaxed scene, and at the most unexpected moment, there is some unpredictable attack from the main characters. 5th place. Misery. The Devil's Advocate 
Kevin Lomax is an ambitious Florida lawyer who hasn't lost a single lawsuit. He wins the courts despite remorse and doubts about the guilt of his clients. The rare talent of the protagonist becomes known far beyond the city limits, and soon he is offered a highly paid position in New York's largest law company. Having moved with his beloved wife Marianne to the Metropolis, Lomax threw himself into his work, but while he disappeared on the courts protesting the interests of wealthy criminals, his wife began to go crazy. The movie has everything to keep the viewer in suspense until the very end. Ominous foreboarding, blood and intense judicial battles. And to this large number of beautiful phrases, most of which pronounced in the extremely arrogant style of Pacino, an interesting plot turns that captivate the imagination, beautiful interiors and great play of actors. So we get a very high quality movie, which you shouldn't miss. Fourth place. The Devil's Advocate. Psycho. Marion Crane is an ordinary secretary in a real estate broker. When $40,000 of her boss got into her hands, she decided to appropriate them, leave the city and start a new life. The nervous road and nightfall forced her to stay in an inconspicuous hotel. Marion doesn't suspect that the peaceful hotel and the eccentric manager Norman Bates are keeping a terrible secret. To date, the most famous film by Alfred Hitchcock is an encyclopedic work addressed to all directors making a film with suspense. The roots of the most modern thrillers grow precisely from the psycho. Sometimes classic films become obsolete and seem naive or boring. But this is clearly not the case. Hitchcock, with his psycho, come up with such an ideal mechanism that plunks the viewer into an uncomfortable feeling that waiting for something frightening when watching becomes the norm. In Psycho, everything is balanced from timekeeping and action to camera technicus and cutting music. Hitchcock skillfully used the technicus of manipulating human fears, and as the result, the thriller of the genre was set high. The story of an ordinary girl who wanted to change her life overnight, having stolen a large amount of money, at some point is turned upside down, and the viewer has to guess what will happen next. At first, Psycho shocked the audience with its innovation and in walking on the blade of a knife. Hitchcock had whole battles with senses who couldn't see the nudity in any way, although it was like a naked woman on the screen. The sense of cruelty for that time were shocking, but the film came out and it was a huge success. Psycho is an ageless classic that can hit today. Third place, Psycho. The Sixth Sense Dr. Malcolm Crow, who recently survived the attack of his formed patient Gray from he couldn't help in his time, is in a new case. His patient is the boy Cole. Symptoms are the same as those of Gray. Causeless fear, fear of loneliness, hallucinations. His body is full of scars and scratches. The boy says that it is from the death who constantly appears to him. He claims that he can even communicate with them. The psychiatrists decide to get into the bottom of the disease, no matter what the cost to him. He believes that he will atone for the blame for the failure with Gray. The scenario thoughts out to the smallest details. Intense music, deep dialogue, magnificent action works keep in suspense to the very end. Everything that's supposed to be scary in the course of action is scary. At the same time, everything that you see looks very realistic, and the suspense, which is excessively large here, is not striking. The action is linear, measured, don't even pay attention to the details that gives clues, leading to the finale. The finale is absolutely impossible to predict. It seems that Shyamalan plays with the audience. He gives everyone the opportunity to be a detective and unravel this story. But at the same time, time leaves no hope to decide for itself what will be at the end. Second place. The Sixth Sense. The Silence of the Lamps. FBI school graduated Clarissa Starline takes part in the investigation of a series of brutal murder of girls. Based on murders, they were committed by one person who cut off thrombus-shaped flaps of skin every time from the backs of the victims, for which they called the killer Buffalo Bill. Claire is instructed to obtain at least some information about a possible killer from Dr. Lecter, who has been kept in prison for especially dangerous criminals for eight years for murders and cannibalism. He is ready to help Clarissa, 
but only if a woman would tell the prisoner about all the difficult upside downs of her personal life. Hannibal is crazy, but absolutely brilliant. He is able to see people through and to predict their actions. Their conversation resembles a chess duel, which forces viewers to carefully monitor the participants without stopping. Both actors received an Oscar for the roles and Anthony Hopkins set a record, only appears on the screen for about 16 minutes and this is the shortest role for which an Oscar has ever been awarded. At first, the character of Anthony Hopkins disposing for himself. He amazes with his intellect and charm. You see an intelligent, worthy person, but then the attitude towards him sharply changes to negative, when he reminds of what he is capable of and why he is imprisoned. Hopkins has embodied one of the most powerful and dangerous evil geniuses in cinema. The film also received three major Oscars in the categories Best Film, Director and Adopted Screenplay. And for us personally, this is the best thriller we've ever seen. First place, The Silence of the Lambs. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. We hope that you enjoyed our top 7. If so, then don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.